Good morning, YouTube. Geezer and the gang here. Getting ready to head out on another adventure on Route 66. We're only going about a mile up the road uh, to the Cadillac Ranch. That'll be our first stop today. But unlike the Bug Ranch, today we're prepared. So let's fire it up, put it in the wind. This is a pretty nice park here, I guess. Uh, this is the kind of park that seems like the new age RV travelers, full timers like to find. I personally think it's not much more than a parking lot. But uh, full hookups, lots of sun, no birds to get in your way. Uh, it's like 35 bucks a night. It is a good Sam's Park, so you can uh, use your discount. He must have come in kind of late last night. Seems to he had a little trouble getting his spot. Okay, as we leave Cadillac Ranch, it's kind of a walk back there. I'd say at least two football fields length. But it was worth the walk. It was, it was interesting to see once. Uh, so many people visit uh, this attraction that I'm pretty much sure our artwork didn't survive until we got back out the gate. But it was fun. Not something I'd do again, but for a once in a lifetime experience, it was kind of cool. But it's time to go. Let's head on down the road. I noticed as we came into town, the downtown area here in Vega, Texas, I thought it was kind of cool. So we're going to take a little drive down Main Street. I'll show you the storefronts. This is kind of neat. There you go, that's downtown Vega, Texas. That, I mean, that's the whole town. 
It's just a little bitty rascal. Okay, we're putting it in the wind. Uh, in a lot of the states that we'll be in, uh, including Texas here, um, the old Route 66 runs right alongside the interstate. We've been running into that the whole time we've been traveling here. And uh, the point I'm trying to make here is we were running on the interstate just to uh, kind of make up a little time and uh, it didn't seem to matter since, you know, you can see the interstate there on the left. Uh, but just for grins and giggles coming out of Vega, I decided to take a stretch of the old road uh, to Adrian. And uh, here's what I found out. Uh, just that little bit of a rise to the interstate is keeping the wind, that southwest wind we've been fighting, it keeps it off the flat nose of Classy. And I can tell you, I, I mean, I can hear that she's running a whole lot easier. I'm not being blown around as much. I guess what I'm trying to say is the new road isn't always the best road. We've just arrived in Adrian, Texas. And we're gonna stop down here at Midpoint Cafe uh, because right down here is exactly halfway the distance of Route 66. That's right, we're halfway through. This is also the home of the ugly pie, so we gotta go in, get some lunch, have and have a piece of ugly pie. Midpoint Cafe, they also had this, it's a kind of a little gift shop, but they got a real nice selection of Route 66 souvenirs, memorabilia, some souvenirs for the cafe itself here. It's kind of a fun after meal wander around to work it off. As we uh, leave the midpoint of Route 66, having a, we opted not to have lunch at, it's it just too close to breakfast, but we did have a piece of ugly pie there at Midpoint Cafe. That was really good. And uh, checked out their gift shop. And then we strolled next door to uh, the Sunflower Station, which is another gift shop right next door. And we got a surprise. The lady that runs the Sunflower Station, her name is Fran. She was the inspiration for the character Flo in the Pixar movie Cars. 
and I've already made it pretty clear what a fan of cars I am. So that was quite a treat. Uh, she she told us that when the uh, the producers and writers of Cars was putting the, kind of the scripts and the characters together, they sent a crew to follow her and her two waitresses around uh, to develop the character for Flo and Mia and Tia characters in the movie. So that was just absolutely exciting for me to meet this lady and and get a little more insight into the making of the movie. So be still my heart as we put it in the wind <laughs> down the road. I believe I've got Classy parked pretty much with the back end in Texas and the front end in New Mexico. And we took this, this stop to visit this place, if I've got it right, and I'm sure I do. This is the state line bar and gas station. It was pretty much all one business at one time. and. Uh, what was interesting is that they built the gas station, which is right there, in Texas, and the bar in New Mexico. And the reason that they did that was that the taxes were so much cheaper in Texas on gas than New Mexico, so they split it between the two to avoid the, the New Mexico taxes. Now, there's signs all over this place, no trespassing, dogs on premises, so I'm not going to uh, violate any of that. I'm just going to do everything from right here. But kind of an interesting place, kind of an interesting story. On down the road. This video might get kind of long because because uh, this is going to be a little bit spread out. Uh, but it's this whole town that that uh, is kind of the attraction, if you will. Just kind of sad. It's a thriving little community at one time before the interstate went in, and and it just all was abandoned and left to decay. People just, people just left. back on the interstate after our cruise through the abandoned Glen Rio and uh, there's the border going into New Mexico. Okay, we, we pulled off the road. Uh, we're getting getting hail now. It's about pea size. It's not real big, but there's no sense tearing classy up driving through it. We'll just sit here and wait with everybody else that's pulled over. See what happens. Welcome to New Mexico. What a friendly state. <laughs>
I don't know if you can see that. It's so noisy in here, I don't even know if you can hear me. But we got noticing the hail jumping around in the grass. Kind of silly. But this is what's going on. That's what that's what's coming down. So we're just gonna wait it out. Okay, we're getting off the interstate, getting back on Route 66, coming into Tucumcari, New Mexico. There's a there's quite a bit to see here. We're gonna we're gonna do one or two stops yet today, probably if not all of them. But we need to start finding some place to stay for the night too. So we'll see how it goes. After 300 yards, you have reached your destination. Uh, there's our first stop. Stopping in at TP Curios. You have reached your destination. Thank you, Tom. Uh, TP Curios is one of those places that uh, are still in business. This is the old Route 66, right here, coming in through town. This is TP Curios. It's pretty easy to spot because it's right on the main road. It has that big teepee right there in the front of the building. It's a nice looking building. Let's go in and see what, the, what it's all about inside. Where are you guys from? East Moline, Illinois. Oh wow! Well, we're, we're doing the Route 66 thing and and. And we're putting it all on YouTube. Excellent. And this was uh, this was one of our hand-picked places to visit, right Great. here. Appreciate that. And just kind of share with with my uh, subscribers what you got here. Give you a little plug. We like that. And. Uh, then we'll just kind of take a look around, see if there's something we just can't live without. And it looks like you might just have that. <laughs> this is a neat place. We've taken a stop here at the La Quita Mexican Foods Restaurant. It's closed, but it's got a really cool sign. Great big Mexican hat. This is an old Route 66 business that still kind of survives, but it's Sunday and they're closed. I'm not sure if they're open anytime, but they're, at least they're closed right now. Kind of a neat old Route 66 building. checking out the uh, Route 66 monument. This thing is cool. Lucy's not feeling real well, so it's time to find a parking place for Classy and call it a day. Uh, let's go see what we can find. <laughs> 